Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about checking to make sure that the rear element of your lens is not hitting the mirror in your DSLR. Now for most of you, you won't have this issue if you're using lenses made specifically for your camera. Now if you're like me and you like to modify lenses and to use vintage lenses, then you might come into this issue. The first time I came up into it was when I modified my 18 and 55 kit lens. I modified it from EFS mount to EF mount so it would mount to my Canon 10D. The 10D has a mirror bigger than the than the APC size mirrors but it's smaller than the full size mirrors and it was made just to take EF lenses but a lot of people modified the 1855 so it'll fit. And I read hundreds of how to's and all of them said that it, it, it cleared at 18mm just fine so I took their word and I didn't check to make sure but at first I didn't I didn't notice it because I was shooting my lens outdoors at around like I, was, I think I was maxing it out at one four thousand. And let's see if you can see the viewfinder as you can see. And outside I was taking pictures and it looked all normally the the the, the, the viewfinder didn't black out or anything. I even uh, dropped it down to uh, like five hundred I think when I stood up down the lens. And the same thing happened. Clear just fine. And even even down to one hundredth of a second. I didn't have no issues. I started having issues when I went under one hundredth. When I think I, uh, the first time I tried one fiftieth. Look at the viewfinder. Yeah, as you see, it stays black. The problem was that the actual mirror was hitting the front element and it was going past it. At the fast sh shutter speeds, it was going. It had e e enough force on it to have the mirror return all the way back. But using a slow shutter speed, it didn't have enough force, and the mirror went past the front element. And then on its way down, it got stuck. And then, as you see, the viewfinder is blacked out. If I just, if I just bump, bump the lens, it goes back down. Now, when you're using a vintage lens, like such as M42 lenses, the let's see if you can see when you focus to infinity, the rear element on most lenses it goes back. Now, if you have this style of adapter, the one with the XF chip, usually that'll tell you if it's clear or not. So you should see the rear element doesn't go past the XF chip, and this lens clears perfectly. But on other lenses, it goes past it. And here I show you the 10D. As you can see, the mirror is pretty big. It's not full frame big, but almost as big. But anyways, now here I have another lens. Well, it's actually a a 2x teleconverter. But if you notice, it goes past the f the flange. This one does not have an XF chip. So if you don't have an XF chip to measure, I'll show you another way. First thing you want to do is remove the lens from the mount. If you're modifying an EFS lens, you could also um, just take the mount off. It's usually just like four screws and then use mounting on your camera body. But anyways, here's the adapter. So first we mount it onto here. And now there's two places you want to measure it. I'm not, I'm sure if you can see clearly, but you want to measure when the mirror is halfway up. Uh, I think you can see it right there. You want to measure when it's halfway up, and also when it's a quarter of the way up. And the way you measure, you can just use use a straight edge if you have one, or if you don't, I like just using a a little piece of wire. But anyways, hold up your mirror to the position where it's halfway, and then get get another one, and just measure until it touches the mirror. And then you, you can mark it with the sharpie, or you, you can just hold it like I'm going to. Then you get your lens, and you see where the place where it where your where it's gonna sit on the adapter, and you just measure it with the stick you use to measure. As you see, I have enough clearance right there. It's 
It's not going to hit the rear element. And then I'd also measure again, and this time measure it a quarter of the way up. And then just get that measurement, transfer to your lens. I still have plenty of clearance. So when I mount it, I'm not going to have any issues. And then I like to test it at a show speed under under 100 just in case, like such as 150th. Then that clears, try a slow one, one tenth. Or even slower if you want. Now that that guy was actually because of the because of the slow shutter speed. But I think one one tenth is the perfect perfect speed to test it on. But anyways, that's a quick method to check if it's gonna hit your rear element. And then if it does hit the rear element, we could usually just do it depends how much is hitting it. Like my eighteen of five fifty five is like a hair away, so I just Every time I'm using it, I just bump it a, a little bit up. If you're using a, a prime lens and it's hitting at 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 infinity, you might just want to bump it down a little bit and see if that clears. Usually, you'll focus to infinity actually a little bit before it, it indicates on your lens, so it might actually work out for you. So, any questions? Leave them down below. Thanks for watching the video.